Hey guys, it's the guinea pigs XXXX here today, and um, today's video is going to be called um, uh, Walmart haul, and I'm um, just going to tell you guys um, two things that I got for uh, Mr. the guinea pig who is in there. Um, I'm not going to be showing my face lately in my uh, videos because um, my mom doesn't really want me to show my face, and I feel that there's no reason to anymore since I have a guinea pig. Um, now, um. Yeah, so, yeah, so, um, he's got an apple slice in there, and, um, he's just chilling. He's a bit scared, um, I have to give him four days, um, to sit in his cage, um, so I can hold him and stuff. But, um, that's not until, um, Saturday. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, he's got his Timothy Hay, his shoes, and all his stuff. So, we'll leave Mr. alone for a time. But in this video, I'm going to be showing my face. Sorry, my finger was in the way. I don't know because the camera's turned away. Okay. So, um, just a minute. So, um, one thing I got from Walmart is, um, these, um, wild harvest veggie puffers. Uh, they are tasty garden vegetable puffs. And they are for, or let me show you. I actually tried to give him one of these. He was eating it. There it is in his food bowl. Um, so, um, these are for guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, adult rabbits, and other small animals. Um, on the back it says wild harvest veggie puffers. Wild harvest veggie puffers are a nutritious, crunchy, and delicious anytime snack. This one-of-a-kind treat takes garden vegetables like carrots, cabbage, spinach, and celery and creates crunchy puffs that your pet won't be able to resist. With their delicious garden taste and crunchy texture, veggie puffers are sure to become one of your pet's favorite treats. He's eating his apple slice. I just wanted to check. Um, it says directions feed one to two treats daily, not intended as sole source of nutrition. Um, so I one it, one treat is in his food bowl. So yeah, and I got these, and these were a dollar and twenty two cents at Walmart. And the ingredients are ground corn, wild middlings, I mean wheat middlings, sorry about that, soybean oil, dried carrots, dried celery, dried beet, dried parsley, and dried lettuce, dried watercress, F, D, and C, yellow, number 5, F, D, and C, yellow, number 6, F, D, and C, red 40, F, D, and C, blue, number 1, titanium dioxide, and dextrose. And, um, yeah, so... This, uh, these are treats, and, um, yeah, so it says, I'm just going to follow the directions. I've only given them one today, because I just came home. Feed one to two treats daily. So these are some store-bought, these are just the first, uh, store-bought treats that I got. And, um, he's just chewing on his apple He's being mystery. Um, so yeah, these are for, again, guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, adult rabbits, and other small animals. Um, when it says, um, oh yeah, it's got a resealable tab, so like when you open it, like, it's got that. So if you can't see that, sorry. But um, it's one of those seal-tight, resealable bags that have freshness in them. Yeah, so I'm just going to open it to show you what it actually looks like so you won't have to like, worry about inside so here's what it looks like um i don't know if you can see this because i can't see my face in the camera um but these are what it's look like these are bleh, sorry I, I have bad pronunciation today um but these are what it looks like and um these are just little um puffs vegetable puffs and um he's got a yellow one i only see mostly yellow ones i mean i don't really see a bunch of they're orange green and yellow and i mostly see a lot of yellow ones. so those are what those look like and um the last thing i got which is downstairs but i'm not going to bring the camera downstairs um i got some apple slices and they are high in vitamin c which is very good um because my guinea pig needs a uh, vitamin C. And Mystery's only a couple months old, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that in any of my videos. But he's only a couple months old, so, um, yeah. So I got some apple slices, and he's, uh, getting his Timothy hay now. And he's got an apple slice in his cage. So I'll show you it. I'll see if I can, uh, show you it, um, in his cage. So let me just go put these back. So, 
so I'm just switching. Oh, sorry, my cover just came off of my iPod. So, so if you can't see that, the apple slice is right there. Right there. It's that little round shaped crescent moon thingy. But yeah, so that's the um apple slice. So um that's it for this video and um I hope to get, I hope to uh see some more news from Mystery. Um he goes back there all the time when you crowd around his cage. So I'm gonna leave him alone for now. But um that's it for this video. Um I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um please be sure to rate, subscribe, and um if you have any questions, please feel free to um comment, leave a video response, um, inbox or direct message me. If you have any questions, and um please be sure to check out my Facebook page, Mystery Parentheses, the guinea pig parentheses. And um yeah, so I'll see you guys later. And this is the guinea pigs XXXX signing out. Bye. Oh, and mystery too. Say bye, mystery. Say bye, piggy.